Hey, hello everybody, take a look at what I have for you today. This right here is one of the newest knives from Boker, and this knife right here actually is really interesting because this is a U.S. production knife that is a Boker Plus branded knife, which is I think a first for the company, and I really wanted to support them in, in producing knives here in the United States, so here it is, the Boker Plus USA. And now I'm not sure if USA is the model number. I've seen it advertised on a few different sites under a different name, also called the Patriot Lockback. Um, but this one right here comes in three different colors. I believe there's blue, which you see here, black and orange, I want to say. And so this knife is, is a US production 154 CM steel, and it is a lockback design. And to me, it's very reminiscent of the Spyderco Delica. Um, but in terms of size, let's take a look at it. Overall length of this knife is 7.5 inches. Comes with a beautiful satin finish on the blade there. And so we have a Boker Plus USA, which we don't see that very much. And what's really nice is uh, this blade steel, 154 cm. So we're getting a U.S. production steel. Handles are FRN, and of course I had to choose the blue. A couple of websites selling it call it like a gunmetal blue, but it is basically a darker blue color made out of the FRN with the checkered handle material on both sides. So again, if you ever handled the Spider Coat Delica, very similar. The lockback is easy to actuate, no problems there. And now this one is brand new, so I can't say I've been carrying it or anything, because it is a newer knife, so I haven't really had a chance to do much besides um, take it out of the box and fondle it for a while today. Uh, it comes in a regular Boker Plus box. I like how it has the USA on there, of course. There's the model number. But just like any other box, it's fitted to the knife, and it has the magnetic closure. So again, standard Boker USA box, Boker Plus box, which I like. Um, the weight as a FRN handle very lightweight knife let's check out the weight now it's listed on the website I believe as 2.35 so let's see if that's accurate 2.36 so pretty much right on the dot um, so very lightweight knife with uh, the blade is 3.38 inches you're getting a mid-size folder here and in the hand it is very comfortable, it's very ergonomic to hold on to. There is some jimping on the blade as well, which is nice, nice to have. Dual thumb studs on both sides and the lock back itself is very smooth. I do love, you can see the, just the satin polish on the blade, nice and shiny. Great drop point style blade. You know, it has a deep carry pocket clip, which is reversible for both sides, which is a really cool feature. At least it looks reversible. Yeah, that screw probably comes right on out. Um, when it's closed, you can see the centering, which is pretty good. Maybe a little bit to the non-clip side, but again, for a lockback, not bad at all. It does flick open. Although I do have to do a little wrist action to get that act, get that going. And I'm sure it'll wear in just fine. Um, and when it's locked up, solid. Feels nice. So there are no issues there. And you can see my ugly fingerprints marring the blade. Um, I did test the sharpness really briefly. It is nice and sharp, so nothing to worry about on that front. Um, but I really do want to support Boker. I hope you guys support Boker. Buy this knife. Um, it would be great to see them get more of their Plus brand knives uh, made here in the U.S., because uh, that is a big big change of pace. A lot of their knives are, are Chinese made. Great designs, great materials, and not to say they're bad knives, but they're made in China. You know, So let's, say, let's get some custom designers working with Boker, um, bringing U.S. production knives. And now the cost for this knife right here is going to be into the, the mid-60s to low 70s. So it does cost a little bit more than you're going to pay for an equivalent knife of foreign production. Uh, but again, it's not any more than you're going to really pay for, say, a Spider Codelica, which is right in the same class, same you know country of origin. Um, so it's really kind of meant to compete with that, I think. So I hope it does well with them. Um, it certainly fills another niche for a U.S. production knife that is high quality, good steel. Now, not a super steel, but a really good quality steel. And we want to see more like these get made. So very cool knife. 
Um, just before I end, I'll compare it to one other knife I've used before because a lot of you guys own the Blur from Kershaw. And I wanted to get something similar in size, overall length. So you can see the blade size is similar. Um, the Boker has the narrower profile. Um, but overall size is very similar to the Kershaw Blur. The handle does feel a little bit smaller because of the, the way it, it sh its shape is, is located. Um, but again, it's two very similar knives. Take a look at just size comparison. You know, so I think very comparable. So a good choice to show this one off right next to it. So it is, you know, 3.38 inch blade. So mid-size knife, not a honking big old four inch knife. So I like the size. I like the shape. Good choice on Boker's part. If you have any questions on this one, feel free to send me a message or just thanks for watching. Glad you were able to enjoy this video. Maybe consider you towards buying one. I know they're sold out in a few places, but uh, if you look around, you can definitely find them. If not in blue, then definitely black and orange should be out and available. And I'm sure they'll keep restocking. So go buy this knife, support Boker, support U.S. production, and you have a great day. Bye.